Okay, hello again. Um, yeah, so I just recently finished a new project. Uh, a friend of mine told me how he was looking for a splitter for his base. So I thought, well, you know, splitter is kind of expensive and I can make one pretty easily, or at least I thought I could. And it's a little e easier and cheaper to make it yourself. Um, yeah, so I made a splitter for him, uh, which also doubles as a switcher, kind of. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, I haven't tested this out on guitar or bass. I've just tested it out with synth, but it works. Um, yeah, so anyway, this, this is it. Uh, I call this splitter thing 1.0 because it's only a prototype really and might eventually make more but I definitely am going to make a couple changes to it but this this one works fine. Um, yeah so I have two foot switches one for out A one for out B. Um, I have the input here I have the loop out here, so basically this output is not really going through any of the circuit and it's just pretty much a direct out. It's almost as if you were bypassing the pedal. Um, yeah, so this will work even if the pedal is turned off. Um, and I have out A, out B here. And yeah, so. Um, yeah, basically, I, when I put this on breadboard and I tested out all the components and everything, uh, it seemed to work fine, but at that point, I didn't put in my, uh, LEDs into the circuit, and I didn't put in the foot switches, so I didn't test it with that in it. And I thought it was going to work fine when I put it down on PCV, but once I uh, soldered everything down, I noticed that when you click the switches, there's a little bit of a pop. Um, I managed to fix, fix it, but, uh, well, kind of fix it. I couldn't totally fix it because really, you can't really be testing out stuff on PCB, you're better off doing it on breadboard, otherwise you're just going to ruin the, the whole build. Um, yeah, so I, I managed to take a little bit of the pop out, or soften it anyway, um, which the pop is largely due to the LED and the fact that it's just, you know, I set these switches up so the circuit turns on when you hit a switch. Well, when you hit the second switch, it's not turning on, but uh, it's just... Anyway, uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, so I kind of dulled it out. I, I, yeah, I think it's mostly because of the LEDs, but I'm not sure. Uh, yeah. Anyway. Um, so, yeah. And this one is loosely based off of uh, Giraffe Audio's uh, splitter, uh, except mine is, uh, other than the fact that I use op amps, uh, it's completely different. Um, yeah, but his, his kind of put it in my head of how how it was gonna work and then I just kind of figured out how to do it with what I had and just the way I, yeah I don't know his doesn't have switches in it no LEDs his power supply is different than mine um, or his power section is different than mine uh, he uses different components uh, yeah anyway um, yeah, so let's test it out. Um, oh yeah, and I'll, I'll put a link to his schematic, uh, in the comments, uh, but, 
or in the about. Uh, but yeah, just just know that you can make it a little bit simpler than what he made. And yeah. Anyway, so let's test it out. Ah, uh, okay. So I'm gonna plug in to the right. So output B is gonna be panned right. Oh, okay. Output B is gonna be panned right, and it's gonna be in the right channel. And then out A is gonna be panned left, and in the left channel of my interface. And I'm just gonna test it out with uh, the Volca base, just so you can get an idea. So yeah. So okay. So it's not on now. So it's completely off. Um, and then you'll kind of notice there might be a little bit of a pop here. Just turn the volume up. Okay, and so there's a little bit of a pop there. So that's one channel, another pop, second channel. So yeah, if you want to see. Uh, so basically the left channel is out A, right channel is out B there. So it's, it's working fine. And then there's not really a pop when it turns off, but yeah. So anyway, uh, let's test out uh, the loop out. So I'm going to plug this into the loop out. And we'll see. It's working fine there. And then let's turn off channel A. So there it is. It's unchanged and it's going right through. Uh, yeah, another thing you can do with this, like why I said that this was kind of a, a, a switcher too, because I realized that I, I wasn't really planning for it to be this way, but it that's how it ended up being, and it's kind of useful, I guess. The switches, the two foot switches, are so close together that you you can pretty much use it as one switch. It, of course, it's easier with uh, like a shoe on or something, but then your hand. But uh, yeah, so say there, I have channel A, channel B. So that's basically how it works as a switcher. Um, yeah, so yeah, it works fine. Um, pretty much, it's just. Uh, you know, for the power supply, it's just a regular voltage divider. Um, two 741 op amps uh, as the buffers for out A and B. And yeah, there's not, I mean, yeah, there's not too much more going on than that. Uh, there's some resistors in there and some capacitors which the values can change. You know, you don't have to do it a set way, but yeah, if you take a look at Giraffe Audio's uh, uh, schematic, that'll give you an idea of where to start. But, you know, they use the uh, transformer in their, their uh, power section, which, you know, I didn't, I didn't really want to do. <laughs> It's a little bit too much for what it is, uh, so I just did a, uh, a voltage divider, which works fine. Like it does what it does. I mean, it's probably not good. Gonna be. Uh, they say with a voltage divider, the the difference between negative and positive is is unbalanced. So one side can be plus, whatever. Uh, plus 5.1 and then the other side can be plus 3.9 or something like that but yeah so that works fine and it's a great project uh, I got to test out a lot of different things that I was kind of thinking about for future designs 
Um, like, I wasn't sure I was going to be able to fit this in this uh, Tupperware, which this one, this Tupperware cost me probably like 50 yen, or uh, 50 cents. Uh, but yeah, and then I tested it out with, you know, what it would look like with the LEDs on the inside, which looks cool. Um, yeah, they, uh, there's a, a couple other things. Like, I never used surface mount um, connectors before. Or I never, yeah. Anyway, yeah, so, yeah, this was a good project. And, yeah, if you're a guitarist or whoever, you can be, you can have synths and use this thing too. It's, it's pretty useful. Uh, I might make another one down the road, which will be uh, 1.1, so split her thing 1.1, probably not for a while though, but yeah, uh, and I hope my friend likes it too, so yeah, that's the splitter thing. So anyway, if you have any questions or anything, leave them in the comments below or just send me a message. Um, I could potentially make a how-to video for this since it's so it's pretty simple and I don't know it might and it, it might be not be so easy for people to figure out. Um, if you're interested in that, uh, let let me know and I'll. Uh, I'll put one together. Anyway, thank you and see you later.